welcome to the first and probably last episode out to Ilne in English language. As you might have noticed falsely, I am no German. This is false because I am a German even though I speak without any hearable uh, accent. Well, in Germany things are different. And I will lecture you now about uh, how. And you probably will have heard at the time of uh, outdoor illness. That is me and what is all the fuss about you will know in uh, a few minutes. Uh, yeah, yes, but because my uh, usual watches are not that good English speakers, but Germans, German speakers only the most, I will now write my word toward them so uh, they understand what I'm doing here. So please hang in. I will now talk original German to my viewers. Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Ich bin's Outdoor Ilna und äh, ja, ich werde heute Englisch sprechen, um der englischsprachigen Welt vorzustellen, was es mit mir auf sich hat. Wer kein Englisch spricht, äh, Entschuldigung, spricht, der kann jetzt abschalten. Die anderen können dranbleiben, um zu sehen, wie ich uns als Deutsche in der Welt repräsentiere. Ihr werdet sehr zufrieden sein. Nun weiter im Englischen. Yes, I'm back to talk to you in your mother tongue and my second language, English. As you may have seen by now, the dog is wearing a hat and so do I. In Germany everyone wears hats. This is very usual. And we drink a lot of beer that is usually brewed by fat monks. We only drink good beer that makes plop when being opened, as you have seen in the German part of the video. We drink from Biersteins, uh, which are here called Krüge, if you want to use the plural. Prost, we say, but on a R and with more R. Prost! Mm. Ah, very tasty. Yes, German beer is always good. We hate people who drink bad beer out of plastic bottles or other bottles where you can turn the, um, the Kronkorken off, the crown cork. We only drink good beer and um, wear hats. Yes, this is uh, all that you need to know about Germans. But there are a lot of rumors going around and I will now fact check them. After this exercise, I will tell you what is all about outer illness. Okay, uh, now uh, the camera can come closer. You probably think the Germans are all different than you American people or other English speakers that are not important at all because it's a world under America. Yeah, and because it is a world and in America, we are quite um, as you uh, a bit. Because Americanization, like we say here, but in German and then it is another word. Whatever. And uh, the point is, the point is, what is the point? The point is, you have been Americanized too, yeah? Because what happens in this process that has this name is something that happens to you too. I call it in German Entartung or better Verwesung. It is um, falling apart, you could say, or going to shit. So you go to shit, uh, beloved Americans, and we go to At different paces and with slightly other um, heads and dogs, but we go to hell all together. So you might think Germans have very much characteristics that are very, uh, um, very, uh, yeah, German. But it, it, this is not always the case. We have Facebook groups just like you in that we say, in these we say, well, uh, oh, it's so typically German to do this and to do that, and, and, and the hat is gone. 
you, you have to be more careful, little dog, with your precious head. What we label as typically German is a mostly typical human at this set time. So we think being panicking about something is a German angst and we think if we uh, do what uh, the politicians that are not our friends want us to do, we are obrigatorik as we say here, so we always do what someone says who is in a higher position than we are. But the sad truth is, yeah, you too, you Americans and all the other shit countries, you hate yourself just as we do. Okay, maybe we do it a little bit more, but that is really all. You are as shitty as we are. But that was not always the time. There was a time where you were much shittier than we are. But now this time is past and uh, we are all uh, shit. Yes. So don't hear on the people who say you uh, Germans are this and that. We are mostly like everyone else. Stupid wankers. We just drink better beer than you. And wear uh, other hats. You have the hat with the brighter krempe, but uh, we not. We, we typically wear hats like these, but in human size. I uh, am a bit different there. But you can um, trotzdem say that I am the archetypically German. The, the art, the art, I am the perfect German. Yes, you see that on my beard, you see it on my clothes and on my uh, dog, okay, it's not really my dog, but, but, but it is a Deutsch Kurzer Dackel Verschnitt. Well, he's not really from Germany, but he's integrated very well. That is a thing you have to know about Germany. We integrate everyone. Okay, you do too, with the Mexicans and so on. Yeah, well, it's not so much different. Maybe you are German and don't know it because uh, someone in the politics has decided you are now German to mock us, real Germans. I am outdoor Ilne and from the German right wing. But we don't say right wing because we don't think a political spectrum has wings but only one road and this road is the right road, uh, not the right road, the, the, the um, correct road uh, and this is not right. Not, not right wing you know what i mean i hope so so we call people like me right extremists or right radicals or um, uh, evil and we have high standards for being german but uh, no one cares our standard in the german extreme right wing is if you are obviously no german you are no german if you are obviously a german you are a German and this is uh, very politically incorrect because German means nearly nothing but being part of the Köter race. Köter race this means dog race, Köter, this is a Köter and we Germans are too. Not only the German sh shepherd hounds, uh, the Deutsche Schäferhunde and not only the Deutsche Kurzhaas but also the people. This was decided by a, a, a writer, a Richter, a Richter, a judge, who said, yeah, you can say Germans are a Köter race because they are uh, nothing else. So the, the writer, uh, the, the judge, thinks too that we have nearly no characteristics left. But this can change, friends, because our characteristics are still there, but in the deep, um, and in deep shit, and can come again. And I, as a right-wing personality, uh, right extremist personality, I am for this and I try to um, re-Germanize the Germans. Okay, how do I do with this? With extreme popularity. Everyone in Germany talks about Auto illness. That's me! Ha ha ha! And everyone loves me. Um, Except the political um, enemy, no, no, not enemy, uh, 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 gegner, the uh, uh, opposition list. But they talk about me too. 
they talk not so good about me, but they but they will say uh, yes, out of Ilna, he he is not right in what he says because he's too right, but he's a very intelligent, handsome, very German. He wears a beautiful hat. Everyone in Germany thinks that, and you should think back too, um, to uh, express how how expertistic you are about Germany. That is really the core of being German nowadays, being an Auto Ilne fan. And who is not an Auto Ilne fan hates Germany. Do you want to hate us? Do you want to hate us? You know who, who hated us? France. Do you want to be friends? No, you won't. So, uh, so uh, um, love me. Oh, this head was damaged in the Great War, too. And hey, hey, hey stay, stay with me, little dog. I will fix the head problem with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves his head. He loves it. Maybe if we do it this way. Yes, yes. This should, this should do. Okay. This is not um, animal um, cruelty, by the way, because um, because this is a, a breed, a special breed to wear hats. And yes, I'm sorry. And and he. He loves it. He really, really loves it. Yeah, a beautiful hat. Yeah, you in America, you like little hats too, I think. Because you are so... Oh, oh, and we Germans are more like... Bleh. Oh, you make me finish. However, I think I have said all that is there to say. And uh, we can come to the end now. Um, maybe I show you a second dog to show you how crazy we are with dogs. One moment please, I call him by his name. Princessa! Princessa! Come here! Come! Princessa! Princessa! Uh, I don't have named uh, this dog so, by the way. Princessa, come! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on it's always here! Uh, all, already! Princessa! Come! Come! Princessa! Come! 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 Princessa! Princess, yeah, yeah, it's here. Oh, so much dogs all around. This is very German. Uh, it's okay now. Please go again. Whatever. That's all. So we are really finished. We had a lot of dogs. We had beer. We had the beer stein. We had uh, talking and a German flag. Two German flags. And here is another one. Uh. This was the first and hopefully last episode. English out to illness. Uh, although I can speak this language very well, as you might have noticed, I don't like it. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that I'm a survival expert and outdoor adventurer. This is actually quite important about my person. Okay, uh, we are finished now. I will uh, give the, the dog his head back. And you will go to your donut shop and drink some Starbucks coffee or whatever you people do there. And what you can do here too. Because yeah, it's really not that different. Fucking world, stupid shit. Oh yes, I uh, will now um, say my typical words. They mean as much as overlive or die. Just in German. So don't be shocked by the umlaut in that speaking. Uh, it is one. And this umlaut is U. You don't have that loud. You can't say it. You say U. But we say U with pride. Okay, now the last words of the video. Überlebt!
so blöd aus. Oh, <laughs>